Good morning, all. This case management conference is in the matter of CFI 044-2023 before Her Excellency Justice Mahal Mahiri. The claimant is represented by Hamdan al-Shamsi lawyers and legal consultants. Lead counsel is Mr. Robert Whitehead. The defendant is a litigant in person. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Robert. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Um, so, we represent the claimant in this matter, which is Peridon Holdings Limited. We received an email this morning with regards to uh, the more uh, concise time scale and timetable for a case management um, conference sheet, a CMC order. So we provided that to the court this morning. Um, before I do go into that, I'd just like to make a few points uh, just for uh, your honour's reference, if if that's possible. Um, yes, the first is that the defendant, as far as we're aware, has failed to file the case management information sheet, which is in contravention of RDC um, 26.31. Uh, the claim has filed that information sheet, so we are somewhat limited in terms of understanding where the defendant sits in terms of the specific directions which the court and the questions which the court requires both parties to answer. Uh, the case memorandum, the other document which needs to be filed with the court, that was sent to the defendant. Uh, I believe the defendant did make some comments on that, but the issue we found is that it the defendant um, did not agree to that, number one, but number two, um, made issues as to the merits of the case. Uh, we did draw the attention to the defendant that the case memorandum should contain a short and uncontroversial description of what the case is about and a short, uncontroversial summary of the material procedural history and the important issues in the case, which is what we provided in draft form. But I think the defendant's come back and made some quite controversial comments as to the merits of the case and which really sort of forms part of the pleading. So for, for your honour's information, probably already aware of this, but that's not been agreed at this stage. Um, then in terms of the list of issues, uh, we've again sent a list of issues document to the defendant, again, kept it fairly concise uh, to the point dealt with factual issues, legal issues, and what was agreed and what was not agreed, um, and what the areas of common ground. However, again, the defendant, when we sent that, came back and raised various issues and seemed to actually answer the questions which we'd raised, which again, uh, under the Rule 26.93, is the purpose is would be to to list the actual factual issues and the legal issues and then the issues of common ground. So unfortunately, Your Honour, we're, we're not in a position to to agree to that list of issues with the defendant either. And and as, as I've mentioned just now, in terms of the draft case management order, we received that from the court this morning um, in terms of the six month timetable. And we have amended that. And, and I think 10 minutes before the hearing, uh, we sent that back with a more concise uh, timetable in order to accommodate the the DRC court's uh, request. Now, the last point I'd just like to mention on that is we did our very best to keep it within the six month time limit. However, the issue we had was that it would mean that the hearing date would fall on Christmas Day, uh, the 25th of December. So we pushed it slightly back, not not very much, but just slightly back to the mid middle of January because uh, counsel for the claimant um, and some of the claimant's witnesses wouldn't be available on the on the 25th of December. Uh, yeah, and they're, they're my submissions uh, at this stage, Your Honour. Thank, thank you. Mr. Rafiq. Good morning, Your Honour. Good morning. Um, Everything that was requested to submit to the court um, was already submitted online or via email. And whenever there was a request to do it only online, it was already done. Uh, like Mr. White had said, there were disagreements regarding the documents submitted. 
Uh, we've submitted, I've submitted from my end already on the portal. Uh, we've received this morning to amend the sheet. I haven't yet amended it, but I went through uh, Mr. Whitehead's uh, email, the document that they sent, and I myself have no issues with the timeline that was mentioned uh, for these six months, but I'm yet to respond via email on that. Okay, and in relation to the list of issues? Um, I've also submitted my, my version from it. Um, to be very frank, I'm representing myself, cannot afford a lawyer um, for your respected court, for the IFC court. And I've even sent multiple emails before that I'm struggling to get um, people picking up the calls whenever I'm calling the IFC courts in order to inquire about things. And I'm never getting a call returned or no one is picking up. And I've sent an email once or twice for them to try and help me understand how this works or what am I exactly supposed to do. And then all I could manage to get the information is from your website where I was reading the user manual and I was reading on the website how to submit these things and uh, the documents, sorry, and how to formulate them and what to write in them exactly. So I tried my best in order to make everything fall within your requests. Okay, uh, in, in, in relation to the list of issues, did you look at them? The ones submitted by myself or submitted by Mr. Whitehead? By Mr. White. Uh, the first ones that we that I received and I disagreed on, yes, they were, uh, I looked at them. And then the final ones that he sent also were the same as the first one, the draft that was sent to me. Uh, we didn't reach agreement on them. Yeah, but what are your issues? So we can lower them down. Okay. Can I, I don't know if it's like, but I have it opened on my computer. It's it's the three page document. Yes. Yeah. So here for the list of issues. Um, so the questions were very clear. So in my understanding that I have to amend them by answering like Mr. White had said. So the questions were very clear for me. Um, these that, that's, not the, that's not the purpose of the list of issues. The list of issues okay. are the issues that the court are going to look at when dealing with your case. OK, so, so the you're, issues you're, not, you're not required to answer any of these questions. OK, at, 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 the, at the moment. Okay, in this case, the list of issues itself, as in questions, yeah, there is no issues with them. Nothing. So, no. so we will consider that these these are agreed list of issues. Yes. Okay, and in relation to the uh, draft uh, uh, CMC order that Mr. White sent in the uh, in the morning, did you look at these? And you have no yes, issues. Yes, uh, I did. Yeah, no issues with them. Okay, in relation to uh, pro bono, did you try uh, submitting your case through pro bono? Uh, yes, and it was submitted already. And did you receive an answer? Uh, got a confirmation email already. Okay, so so now you you have legal representation. Is that correct? No, a legal representation. Sorry, no. Um, only myself. I'm representing myself. Okay, then the pro bono. Um, by pro bono, just before I go with this, is do you mean the portal where I submit all my documents? No, no, no. We have okay. pro bono lawyers that can help you with your case. This is the first time I hear of this, to be honest. Okay, I let some somebody from the court get in, uh, in touch with you in relation to that. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. White, is there any other pending issues? Um. No, I think no, I think there was there was the court also drew the party's attention to experts. Yeah. Um and I think the the point uh, which the, the, the registry was making is that any expert report needs to be filed an an application needs to be filed. So, you know, in the in the case management order we've made a direction for experts which would come in December. But I think uh, Mr. Rafiq has already filed an expert report without permission, which is not allowed under the rules, as the courts pointed out, unless an application is made. Yes. So I think, you know, the court and, and uh, Your Honour, and I, I think Mr. Rafiq, if uh, your view on this, we have tried to direct you in terms of how the procedure works 
to some extent in order to make sure that there's an efficient and an effective um, dealing with the case. Um, so I think if you, if I, if I may, Your Honour, I think Mr. Rafi, if the, 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 the registry does assist the parties somewhat in terms of how to, to deal with the case, uh, and, and that was one of the directions from the registry. So we note that comment, but we understand that's more directed to Mr. Rafiq rather than the claimant at this stage. Um, and again, we, we, we certainly do want to file expert reports, but we, we will wait until December, provided that the, the CMC order is, is approved by the registry. Yes, but expert reports or permission to have experts will not be granted. This will have to be through application, and that application the trial judge is going to look at, and he's going to decide. Okay. So okay. even even with the the CMC order, we as a claimant, we would still need to make an application. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do that. Yeah. Okay. So if you yeah. can send the the draft CMC order, I I look at it one more time. Um. If, if, if everything is fine, then we'll issue it. Yeah, we'll do that. Is there anything else? I think that's no. that's it, Your Honor, from, from our side, yeah. Mr. Rafiq? Your Honor, if there is, because this is very new to me, if there is someone I can sit with in DFC court, speak to and understand more about the procedure, because Yes, I do speak English, but I don't know the legal terminologies in order to say yes or no to things. If there's someone I can actually sit with to understand the procedures, when do I have to submit certain documents and when I shouldn't be submitting certain documents? If you may please direct me towards someone, um, I'd be really sure. grateful to you. Sure, I'll let the case progression officer uh, get in contact with you in relation to our pro bono lawyers. If your case is going to be accepted, um, uh, that will help you a lot in your case. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, you, you run, you run, I think I think it's um, important for me to disclose that I am actually one of the pro bono lawyers. So, Mr. Rafiq, if that is permitted by the DOFC court, then certainly I would be conflicted uh, to to assist. But there's many pro bono lawyers, so yeah. I don't think it's been an issue. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll take um, a note of that when uh, sending his case out. Um, you will not receive an email. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Wright. Thank yeah. you. Thank you both for your time.